Hi y'all, Connie here. Today, let's talk about surface crochet. So surface crochet is just working stitches on top of your pre-existing fabric. So here we go, we're gonna pull this out, are you ready? Bloop, just like that, all right? So you can, you'll usually see this with slip stitch, which is what I just had there, but you could also try other stitches. But what I'm gonna show you today is the slip stitch. So there are a couple ways you can start it. You can either start right here at the edge, if you wanna go all the way across, and what you do is you start with your slip knot on your hook, and then you, you're gonna hold your working yarn underneath your fabric, insert your hook close to the edge, yarn over, so, find the, the yarn in the back and pull that up through your fabric and then through the loop on your hook, okay? So that's, that's a slip stitch right there, right? All right, and so now we're gonna go to the next spot. So this, this is just a swatch of double crochet. So I'm working into the tops of the stitches of this one particular row, okay? So again, insert your hook down through your fabric, come to the back side, yarn over, pull that loop to the front of your fabric and through that loop. Now the trick when you are working surface crochet stitches is to mind your tension. So one thing that I do is when I work these loops, I make sure that I push the loop all the way up onto the shaft of my crochet hook. You don't want it to stay down here on the neck because it's gonna be tighter there, the loop will be tighter. So make sure you slide your loop all the way up. The next thing that I do when I pull, after I've yarned over and I've grabbed this yarn, I push my hook up a little bit like this, okay? And that's going to stretch that slip stitch upwards just a little bit, not too much, but it's going to give it just enough, um, what's the right word, ease maybe, so that it doesn't get too tight because these slip stitches don't have the same stretchability if you will, as other crochet stitches do. So we wanna mind our tension. Now, if you have trouble doing this, just being mindful of your tension, you can also switch to a larger crochet hook, right? Let's, let's back this up just a little bit here and we'll do that. So this is a, a 4.5 millimeter hook. Let's switch to a 5.5 millimeter hook, okay? And so if you need to go up a hook size to do your surface crochet to help make sure that your stitches aren't too tight, so, so long as you can fit the larger hook into the holes in your fabric, then of course that will work. And then you don't have to be quite so mindful of your tension because that hook will automatically make these loops a little bit looser. All right, and so when you get to the end, you can either stop here and pull this through and finish it off, or you can go ahead and do one more slip stitch over the edge and then pull it through to, to finish off your end. Um, now, if you wanted to do a couple rows of this, you could take this and you could turn it and then go back up. So let's go, this is gonna be, let's do this right over the top of these double crochets instead of into the stitches behind, or the, the tops of the stitches. So again, we're gonna come behind our work, yarn over, and pull that loop through to the front and through there, okay? So yarn over, pull up a loop, go through there. Now, if you don't like the way this looks, coming all the way to the edge, and you wanna do multiple rows, you could stop here, so not come all the way over the edge, and then come straight to the side instead. Oh, barking dogs outside, sorry about that. All right, so we're turning this corner here, right? And then start working up these rows. And so that will keep your stitches here on top and not coming down to the, the point here, All right? Lost track of where I was. We're going around the stitches. So this is a fun way to add a little bit of extra texture or color. See, these are right, right next to each other. So let's see if we wanted to go over and do it one more time. Same thing. And you can do this, you can use this technique to do um, letters. I've had some, I've, I've had students do like initials on a baby blanket. 
using this technique. So you just need to be mindful of your tension as you work or use a larger hook if you have any trouble doing that. All right, and so here, this is interesting. These, these slip stitches lined up real neatly with the top of this row, but when I switched all the way down here, I've got a little bit of gap there. So you can see how we turned here to come back up this row. So you can add that. And then of course on the back side, you just have the third loop of your chain running across. Okay, so let's take a scarf here. And let's say we wanted to add some surface crochet to this. Now this is fingering weight yarn and I used a C hook. So I'm gonna go up to an E hook for this. And I've got some darker yarn here. I'm going to do it on this, this lighter section so you can kind of see it. All right. So again, we're going to start with a slip knot on our hook. No, we don't want to focus. Because <laughs> I want to focus on my slip knot. Okay, that's all right. And let's come down here. Whoops. All right. And so again, like I said, you can either start on the edge or inside just a little bit. Or what you can do is you can pull up a loop. So like if you're going to do an initial and you're not starting at the edge, take your loop off your hook and then you're going to bring it up through one of these, one of these stitches. Okay. So I'm just going to put my hook down from the top, grab that loop, whoops, grab that loop and pull it forward. Okay. And now make sure I'm using the working yarn instead of the tail there. I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm just going to work. And so right here, this is going to be in the tops of those stitches. And now here, see, this is why I used the little bitty thing so that you could see what I was doing here. You can't see what my hand is doing underneath, right? But what I'm doing, I'm doing the same thing. So I'm just going down underneath and I'm grabbing that yarn and pulling it forward. So if you're working on a bigger piece, this is what it'll look like. All right. So you have to kind of feel your way through it, but you can add this nice little line of texture or a different color. This is a great way to add a, an edging. So if you were to take this technique and put it along the edge of a piece, then you could come back and work into this loop right here and you could work an edging let me just, let me flip this around here and show you what I mean. So I've done this on, what did I do this on? I did this on, oh, the Indubious Neck Warmer. That's what I did it on. Um, I added a line of surface crochet with slip stitches to get a nice neat edge and I can't even get my crochet hook. I had to chop my fingernails off and, and now I can't use them. <laughs> okay, I'm starting all over. Um, all right, so slip knot on the hook, pulling it forward. All right, so just up through that fabric. So if I work this slip stitch, uh, well, so this is a treble crochet, so I'd have to work it into the stitch itself, right? So if I work this along the edge, trying to make sure you're still in focus, and you just kind of improvise as you go along this edge. And go, ah, no fingernails. This is terrible. I broke two of them and I had to, I had to just trim them all off because they broke down into the quick it was just one of those, one of those weeks apparently. All right. So here we have this slip stitch going along the edge and it's not as neat as it is working into the rows because you have to kind of improvise your way along. But what you can do is you can come back here and you can use these, these outside loops to work on an edging and you'll have this nice neat line of stitches here that, that will, will take you from 
your your fabric worked worked back and forth in rows this way to a really nice neat edging whereas if you just worked your edging into the stitches themselves so like a single crochet coming across here then you're going to have the bottoms of those stitches coming into your fabric and if you're using a contrasting color like this then you see those edges so you see here's working around that, that treble crochet and then working into the stitches. So these are single crochets right here. And so you can really see a big difference there. But if you take this technique and use it to edge your, your fabric first, then you can work all your edging stitches right into those outside loops of the slip stitch and have a really nice neat line along the edge of your fabric. So that's a couple ways that you can use surface crochet to either add elements like stripes or initials or to finesse your edging if you wanted to add an edging to a piece like like this this is the james river wrap if you wanted to add an edging in a solid color but you didn't want to have this happen right work a, a row of or i guess it would be a round of slip stitch all the way around your edges and then work your second round into the outside loops of those. I guess it would be the, the back loop. Work into the back loop only, right? And then you'll have a nice neat line. So there you go. A little crash course on surface crochet. I hope you found this helpful. If you've got any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.